Over the past five years, I've tested more than 50 cowboy boots, and in that time, only a few have become regular favorites. So today I'm going through the top five cowboy boots I wear the most and why. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below. I've been testing out cowboy boots for the past five years here on YouTube, which is a crazy thing to say. I can't believe I'm still doing it, but here we are, and I have come back to regular favorites time and time again, so I wanted to do a quick video about my top five most worn cowboy boots since I started this channel. Now this one up here, this Boulet 7031, is definitely my most worn of all time, with it having six different resoles on here and it needing another one here shortly. Uh, but I've definitely been wearing this one less over the past five years, trying to extend the life of it as much as possible. So I've been coming back to ones that I've tested time and time again. Now I want to start out by saying that all of these boots in this list have narrow width sizes. Those are the only sizes that I'll come back to time and time again. Most companies produce D widths and double E widths, and that's it. So I'm a B width, so that makes it really hard for me to find a comfortable pair of boots, and that's why I keep coming back to these select few. So I'm gonna go through the top five cowboy boots that I wear most frequently, starting at number five and going up to number one, but all of these are awesome boots. Starting out at number five is the Black Victoria Rough Out boot from Finolio. Finolio boots are made right here in the USA, out there in Nakona, Texas. They sort of took over for Nakona boots after they moved their factory elsewhere. And they make some incredible boots for pretty much every width size that you can imagine. I really like this rough out boot. The fact that it is black is really cool and it was so, so black when I got it. It was a matte black. It looked like a black hole. It reflected no light. But as a rough out like this ages, it becomes lighter instead of darker. And I like how this ages. If you took care of this a little bit more, used a little bit more like a uh, rough out conditioner, brushed it, it would keep a darker tone to it for sure. But I really like how rough out ages like this. So I really haven't taken care of these at all and I like the look of it. I will do a rough out care video on these soon, probably this year sometime, just because it probably needs it after two or three years of just wearing it without conditioning it. But that's another advantage of rough out is it can go a long time before you need to take care of it. Another cool feature about this boot is the Ranch Tough outsole. This is a rubber outsole, but it doesn't have as much traction as other rubber soles out there, and that's by design. So this is supposed to be a little bit more slippery than maybe other rubber outsoles that you'll get on the marketplace, just so that the cowboys who are wearing this boot can slip in and out of the stirrups a little bit more easy, but still have a durable outsole, much more durable than what leather would be. Love this boot so much, it's very, very comfortable to wear, and I look forward to wearing this for years to come. My fourth most worn pair of cowboy boots over the past five years, and the only exotic on this list, are these Blackjack Piruku boots. Blackjack quality is top notch. They're made right here in the USA, in El Paso, Texas, and the only thing that I've had replaced on this so far is the heel cap. I ran through that pretty quickly. This leather outsole though is really thick and sturdy. So it's gonna take a while for me to run through this leather outsole. It does make this boot a little bit more difficult to break in, but once you've broken it in, it feels incredible. It's so comfortable. And for this boot in particular, that's due in part to the Piruku fish skin leather. This might be an ugly looking skin. And for many of you out there, you hate it, but it feels so good. It might not be the toughest leather, but it breathes great and it just 
it moves so well. It's so supple. It kind of reminds me of uh, ostrich leather a little bit, but just not as durable. So it's not a durable skin, but it breathes well and it feels incredible. And I look forward to wearing this one for years to come as well. And my third most worn pair of boots over the past five years are these water buffalo calf boots. This is my collab boot with Botas Nueve Vizcaya. Botas Nueva Vizcaya, or BNV Boots, is also located in El Paso, and owner Jose Chavez reached out to me several years ago and asked me if I wanted to design a boot with him, and this is what the outcome was. It is an incredible looking boot. It's got my brand right here. It is Water Buffalo Calfskin Leather, which is super soft and super supple. But in addition to that, it has this beautiful Jato, a more pointed round look. Love the look of it. And this is built so, so well. I've been wearing this one around so frequently and I've had to have other boots resold before this and I wear this one more. So the leather outsole that they use is very strong and durable and it feels incredible very traditionally made right here in the US and several of you out there were able to scoop up your own collab boot. Um, maybe two years ago I did a limited run release with BNV boots so some of you know exactly what I'm talking about and understand why this is in my top five. And my second most worn pair of boots over the past five years are these Nakona Bullhide boots. These were slightly used when I got them from my buddy Aaron Watson. And if you guys are familiar with the old US made Nakonas like this one is, you know the fit is incredible. These feel awesome. I had a spiritual experience the first time I tried them on. And since then, I keep coming back to them on a weekly basis, sometimes every single day if I can, because they are so comfortable. In addition to that, the shrunken shoulder bull hide here is a very durable leather that feels awesome and breaks in really well. The simple black look is a color that's ready for anything. And I've had these resold once. You can see a half sole in there and I will be wearing these through. Maybe we'll have to send them out for a resole at the end of this year as well. So I really love these boots and it had to make my top five. I wear these all the time. And my most worn boots over the past five years, hands down, is the Hondo 7875 boot. This is a boot that I've worn the most by far. It's just a simple, durable, retan leather boot that's ready for anything. It fits great and has proven to be very durable. Now when I got them, the rubber outsole and the heel cap were a little bit softer than some of their competitors. So I broke a chunk off of the heel cap when I first got them and the rubber outsole has worn down a little bit faster than um, competitors, but since then Hondo has changed to a more durable rubber outsole and heel cap, but still it's been four years and I wear these all the time. I've worn them to Ireland overseas. I, I wear these everywhere. So they have definitely held up in some pretty sticky situations and they feel incredible every time I wear them. I love this boot so much. It's pretty much my go-to boot if I have a day where I don't know what's going on or if it's kind of questionable weather out there. This boot can handle it all and I love wearing it on a regular basis. So those are my top five boots that I keep coming back to on a regular basis over the past five years. We'll have to do this again in the next five years to see if any of these are still on that list and how impressive would that be? Let me know what you guys think and also some of your most worn boots down in the comments. Love you guys so much. Wishing you the best and I'll see you next time. Peace. These are the boots that I keep coming back to. These are the boots for adventure and living true. These are the boots, and it comes down to just a few out of dozens that I've tried. Yeah. These are the boots. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other cowboy boots video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here, and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.